Hi, I'm Mike. I'm here sitting with Max from the Washington, D.C. Uh, Alt.net group. Uh, hi, Max. Uh, How's it going? You, good. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> uh, can, uh, you know, we're, we're sitting down here to talk about the uh, Alt.net group. Can you tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing in, in, in D.C.? Yeah, uh, basically, uh, we're pretty, we're fairly small group. We've had a couple of real big meetings, uh, but uh, it depends on the speaker. Uh, usually our format is that we, we bring in an outside speaker right. and, who does a presentation, uh, and then we kind of hang out. We usually always have pizza, of course, yeah. you know, for, uh, and uh, so uh, we, we uh, vary in size, but we have a pretty core group of, uh, of, a, of a, a small group of people who, who attend pretty regularly. And, uh, when you say small size, like what do you mean? Like, I'd probably say about ten to fifteen uh, who are who are pretty regular, I would say. And so, and then we've had probably up to 50, 40 to fifty at, at, at different times. We what, had, kind of, uh, what kind of topic brought out the big guy? Uh, it was a JavaScript. Uh, I, I can't it. remember the guy's name, but uh, 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 his Tiki Wiki. What is his name? Uh, Voodoo Tiki guy. Uh, Voodoo is his Twitch guy. Yeah, Voodoo okay, Tiki. Yeah. He's a JS Conf guy. I okay. can't remember his actual name. I, I, but I remember his Twitter handle. Was very memorable. I, I, yeah. I, I looked that one up, but that name sounds familiar. Yeah. So, uh, so we had we've had speakers on JavaScript, JavaScript and Closure, uh, Mercurial. Um, Fitness. Uh, it, interestingly, being a .NET group, most of our presentations haven't been about .NET. They've been about things peripheral to .NET or just new technologies, uh, and that's been great. And, and uh, it's good to learn things outside the .NET space. Right. Yeah. And and you know when you're saying that you bring in speakers yeah. uh, that are talking about a variety of topics, it sounds like you know you're not even able to go to just to the Microsoft pool of speakers. You kind of got to go to other communities, yeah. or are you picking up? On other .NET developers who are also dabbling in these things or maybe using them, how do you, how do you guys go about reaching out to people to come and present? Uh, mostly, uh, we have a, a very solid uh, founder of our group, uh, Matt Pogosaki, mm -hmm. and he, uh, he he is very active in the, in different communities, uh, and he has a lot of contacts. And he's he's mainly been the one so far to bring in speakers, and we're kind of working on getting more kind of becoming more uh, self-directed mm -hmm. uh, and, and becoming a real community uh, but but so, so once we have such strong leadership he's kind of been the one bringing in the people uh, we, we have on, on a few occasions so particularly our mercurial uh, uh, one of our one of our kind of solid members buck did our mercurial presentation did a bang up job on that one uh, but so, so but basically we, we kind of have strong leadership so, so that's kind of how we've made all the contacts and we've had some really high quality speakers because of that okay. but I think we'd like to probably branch out into more uh, open space or, or lightning talk type format so that we have more kind of uh, self-organizing kind of right. from, from so organizing bringing, from within instead of top down you're you know? bringing in you're you you're looking at yeah. trying to get more people from that would typically be audience members I yeah think, exactly to actually right Right. I think we I think we'd like to have more kind of participation in the, in the selection of the topics and in the presentations as well uh, instead of just being bringing in outside people all the time I think we'd kind of like to be more of a meetup style you know uh, at different times we haven't really experimented with that too much so far uh, but things are working out and, and you know but we definitely have you know some solid members who who've kind of presented on different topics uh, so like Ruby on Rails we had somebody uh, from, from within the, within the group another one of the founders of the group uh, came in and did a talk uh, talk on Ruby on Rails as well. Cool. And do you go with a, are you kind of on a monthly cycle or? Uh, yeah, usually monthly. We've been kind of on a break right now, mm -hmm. uh, but but for for a solid couple of years, we, we were going strong for every month, yeah. uh, and I, I felt like that was important. Uh, I mean, it was really you know uh, Matt was one uh, who I kind of uh, talked to when I got involved, who was kind of running the group, and uh, it just kind of worked out that way. But uh, I, I felt like it was important to be committed to, to having the group meet every month, uh, so I you know made sure that I did everything I could to kind of provide the space in my office. And honestly, part of the uh, part of the the uh, reason that I got involved is just so I didn't have to spend an hour in DC, DC traffic <laughs> to get there. So I just, uh, you know, offered up uh, the office space at my company. We have a okay. really nice space. So yeah, that uh, was you yeah. actually was uh, you just led right, you just stepped right on my next question. Yeah. I was going to ask, where do you typically meet? So. so yeah. Where did they meet before you offered the space? I think they, they've moved around. We, we did have a pub night uh, yeah. a, once a, a, a while ago, but mostly at uh, Motley Fool, which is the company right. I work for. 
Uh, we've been meeting in our offices now pretty consistently for a couple of years. Uh, and interestingly, uh, I've been ma making every effort to get more people from within my own company involved right. because I think it's good for, for the, uh, the environment and, and you know for people to be exposed to these different technologies. So I've had, had a few people from my office come in and, and help facilitate uh, as much as I put me now, especially when I couldn't be there. Uh, so uh, that, that's, you know, it's varying degrees of success on that one, but I, I just feel like it's good you know, I like being involved in the community. It's convenient for me because, you know, I, it's just right there. All I have to do is right. kind of provide a space, you know, coordinate a little bit of pizza. And, you know, it's kind of it's pretty simple. Uh, and, and, I, and I think it's, you know, kind of makes my job enjoy, more enjoyable day to day because, you know, we kind of bring these different speakers in talking about different topics. And it kind of gets some discussion started within, you know, the, within my, my teams that, that I work with every day. So, so that, that, that's an interesting point is, you know, yeah. have, has anything... That since you're you brought the, the the meeting into your into your office and you're trying to get people from from your own company to be participating, yep. has that made any like change? Like, are you have you adopted some new techniques or, or technologies? That maybe you learned about through the group that right. now you can take back. Has yeah. been anything like well, that? I found we we most of the people that I work with are real solid. They're usually mm -hmm. on top of this stuff, and I actually end up. Sometimes I will get a speaker coming in to speak on a topic yeah. that I'm not too familiar with, and it'll actually prompt me to ask my coworkers about it, and I'll be surprised about you know the the level of knowledge that they have sometimes. So you know, um, uh, a lot of, lot of kind of more front end programming that I don't necessarily do day to day, uh, but I will kind of get conversations going at work about those sorts of things. Uh, so so it's you know it's it's a uh, it's been a good experience for me. You know, it's certainly uh, uh, a good way for me to just, because uh, I'm not necessarily always the most proactive about kind of going out and learning new things. Right. So it's a good way for me to kind of do that. Yeah. Uh, so it kind of keeps yeah. you, because yeah. you know that that user group's meeting is coming up, and there's, yeah. if you haven't followed up on something, you know there's going to be a topic. Right. That's and, right. That's right. Cool. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for right. sitting down and talking. Thanks a lot. This is Max uh, with Washington, D.C. Alt.net Group. Thank yeah. you very much.